Alright, there we go. Now I pretty much have the basic outline of the base done. Okay. Are you ready for the, the welder ship then? Uh, in just a second, yeah. So I build platform bases like this, I mean, where they're enclosed, and then I'll put um, all the uh, like refineries and stuff like that underneath with the room. So you don't actually have to go inside the, uh, the station itself. Yeah, that's smart. Why, hello, Bertha. I will say, I do love this drill head shape that you, that you get going with these. Yeah, it's my favorite. I, I, one of the things I notice is you probably don't get as much initial moving as soon as you hit the rock like you would with a flat surface. Because with flat, all your drills hit at once and you just go nuts. With this, you're hitting one drill, then four drills, and then... Uh, why is that? Two, four, six, eight, eight drills, and so on and so forth. You know, it's it's a gradual increase instead of just all your drills hit at once. Yeah. Well, the other thing though is, that as it's going through, it actually creates more stability because when they're tunneling, they each create little grooves that they're going in, and so they ride those grooves like a train. Ah. Okay. I I love your use of the. Uh, Oh, the blast door is on that, too. I remember that from your full-size Bertha. Yeah, the, the Phoenix is the one I use those on because the uh, they don't deform when you hit stuff, and they, they, the, they don't actually take any damage, but they do get... regular blocks do get dented. Which is annoying, uh. because I hate dents on my ship. <laughs> so I just built a, a mining ship that doesn't have anything that can be dented. That makes sense. See, for me, I... I don't mind dents sometimes, because dents can give character to your ships. Yes, but my mining ship should not have dents. <laughs> it's a miner, that's what it does. It gets dinged up. But no, I, I, I like what you've done with it. I'm doing a bit different. It's going to actually have a real um, cockpit area, which is something that the usual d builds don't get. Yeah, you know what? We can uh, we can just wait on um, uh, starting the base up since you literally. Uh, I'm actually very surprised how quickly you got her going, or, or Betsy, or whatever you're gonna call her. Uh, junior. Junior. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm I personally like Betsy. No, I think I actually will call it Betsy. I, I like that as a name for it because Bertha is the the big one, and so Betsy is it sounds something you know smaller, more petite. 
Yeah, we need more computers, more displays. Yeah. The displays are what were are killing us, I think. Oh, I'm I'm a genius. Oh. All the ore and stuff is in the carrot. <laughs> oh, oh jeez. Not ore, the ignorance. Ah. Uh. I think I might take the uh, the mine ore here and uh, do a little bit of mining then. In the meantime. Okay. So we're probably gonna need what silicone, right? Silicone, silicone gold, and. Uh, iron, it looks like, is what it's gonna... Oh, wow, that's a lot of... No, don't need that many displays. I had 300 queued for some reason. Oh, jeez. Alright, yeah. well, there's no... There's no detector on this, so it's gonna take me a minute to there's find... There's no detector? What do you mean? There should be a detector. Uh, see if it's turned off. I swear I put one. I may not have. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. Never okay. mind. Okay. Worry me like that. I think I thought my ship was broken. Oh, silicone. Wow, look. I'm gonna put on a couple more uh, connector points on the uh, the thingy here, so we can dock multiple ships. Oh, okay. Yeah, worries. I figure once once we get the base up and running, we can just dismantle that and attach it to the base. Fair enough. I'm not worry about it then. Except just... for the uh, except for the azimuth container, we'll just keep that hole, and then we'll build a ship off of it. Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna dump everything into the azimuth container. Not quite sure why I built the carrot now, though. Yeah, at the moment, it doesn't have much of a role. No, but I guess we could use it to unload Bertha without or Betsy. It's gonna be weird calling it Betsy, uh, but <laughs> that'll work. Wow, Minor just digs right in. Yeah, I, I've always I've loved that design. Now it's it's my new favorite small ship, uh, mining ship rather. Yeah, I get what you mean. The carib was getting offended, so I had to confirm that it wasn't just you know. <laughs> I'm kind of auto mining with the miner right now, just I'm sitting in the cockpit. I turned on two of the rear engines and I have the drills running. Yeah, we could probably rig a sensor on it to trip yeah. and just shut them off when it hits the other end of the asteroid. Yeah, uh, we just, you know, this gives me something to do for right now. Oh, oh, I already came out the other side. What was it that we needed? I forgot. Um, we needed displays and computers. Okay. So this will be the first uh, Bertha recorded being built, so... Oh, that's... that's monumental right there. You make a documentary out of that. It is a documentary. Aren't you paying attention? 
Oh, you make a good point. It's called space sharks and the things they build. <laughs> There we go, and I have the auto mine function set up, it's just, um, uh, I just don't have a sensor yet. Yeah, without the sensor, I wouldn't suggest attempting to auto mine. Oh, like, yeah. Like, uh, you know, get out and let it run. Because <laughs> you have to check on it every five seconds, otherwise you risk it flying away with all the ore it gathered. Yeah. I've got uh, I've got some silicone and even some magnesium in here. I'm gonna blow something up. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see if we can find some cargo ships at some point. Hopefully, none will have picked up what was left of Phil. Or if they did, then. Um... I'm not going to explain the wounds on his back. <laughs> the shark shaped or shark teeth shaped wounds, I'm assuming. Hi, uh, um no, no. They they're not they're not shark teeth shaped. But they may look a lot like sword wounds, but they won't be. Oh, okay, I, I understand. I understand. Alright, I dropped off the ore I had. Go find some more. I just completely got myself disorientated. Anubis will probably think that we named Betsy after his Betsy asteroid. I didn't realize he had a Betsy asteroid. Yep, and he's got a whole bunch of little moons that I helped him drill out stuff on and name. confusing a lot of people right now. How so? I've added on another plate of cargo containers and they're all going, what the hell is that for? I'm feeling very claustrophobic right now. I get that in that little ship. Well, there, there's no lights on it at the moment, so, uh, you know, getting, just sitting here drilling, like, oh, I can't get out even if I wanted to. No, the only direction it goes <laughs> is forward. While it's tunneling. Yeah. Because the, the whole, the, the brakes on it are not very good either. Well, I mean, it's got a, it's got one regular thruster and one azimuth one, which is roughly the same power, because it's one of the little ones. I think it has four in the forward direction, so... Yeah. 
Which we could add on two more, so we could have four for regular thrust, two for the auto mining. Yeah, that's what I was actually thinking of. I, I actually had six on it at one point, but it, it was just too much thrust, too much speed. Yeah. Kind of wish we'd have put this uh, connector on it somewhere else. Yeah, I just kind of randomly slapped that on there. Well, it was one of the only places we could really put it because, well, at the time, it, the, there was there was a ship around the rest of it. That's true. Looks like I used up all the large steel tubes. I'll have to make some more. Well, at least they don't take up much resources. <laughs> we only have 30k iron sitting in the box, so it's, it's alright. <laughs> so it's it, it's, it's uh, dire straits for iron, though. I have 114k uh, in the miner right now. <laughs> Plus a little bit of stone and a little bit of platinum. I just came out and it is really dark in this tunnel. <laughs> Do you want to install some lights on that while you're out? Well, once I make my way back to the base, once I'm done, I'll uh, I'll probably do that. Oh, okay, yeah, I found the way out. Ah, where'd the ship go? There it is. Wow, this is a huge cavern. Huge. Nice, nice. Those are always fun to find. There's our, our gas giant down below. Yay! Oh, All right, so sure. after... Blame it on the gas giant. <laughs> it's all its fault. You know, Phil was probably looking out the window at the gas giant when he decided he needed to open it. You're probably right, yeah. He, he was never the brightest. Yeah, I'm gonna need some large steel tubes for this thing too. Yeah, I just manufactured a bunch, so there should be some in the container. Excellent. You make such a streamlined design, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put a, uh, uh, the lights. <laughs> I think I put one right in front of the cockpit, that's going to look a little weird, but I don't have much other choice. Um, uh, strip off the heavy armor on the front of the drills, and then put it there. Ah, uh, I know, I see what you're saying. You can point the, well those work too, I was going to say the ones in the front front, but that, that'll work fine. I gotta modify that one's back end later. Why is that? Because I'm gonna put a battery in it to add some more weight to it. Ah, oh, I gotcha. 
That and having a, a battery on these is not a bad idea. spherical gravity generator on this is just because I worry about that glitch that happened before. Oh, do you use it to like push everything away? Yeah, but we could also mount some uh, collectors on the front bits of these. The drills in the front so that it pushes it forward and then it'll catch some of the extra stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, I get what you mean. There's no point in trying to gather everything Bertha can gather, because you get so much supplies anyway, but, you know, that little bit of extra should help. Yeah. Couldn't figure out my inventory was so full, I was carrying around the, uh reactor components still. Uh -huh. 121 of them. Oh, I just realized I forgot something else. I forgot to put an ore detector on it. I don't know, that thing takes so much space, I don't think you even have to worry about it. Look for a spot roughly what you're looking for and just let it go. You have a point. <laughs> you have a very good point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that and, and just say that's fine. I actually have a place where I could put one in too later if I want to. Oh, see, there you go. Because I didn't finish off the uh, the cockpit there in the front. And now I'm trying to figure out what I should put back here in these uh, little crevices. Warheads? No. <laughs> Don't need warheads. As hard as no. I work to, to put it all together, I don't want to blow it up. I'm gonna put a remote block in one of them, though. It's not. is now fully equipped. Sweet. I think for the others I'm going to put a timer, a pair of timer, uh, just timer blocks in it, just because. Well, you could eventually, you know, figure out something you need them for. Yeah. There could be a reason for them. Yeah, but that's all you. I'm not very good with the timer blocks as of yet. Yeah, we need more computers. I 
I'm just gonna make it produce a bunch of computers. Alright, uh, I'm mining for gonna, more silicon. We're gonna need them for assemblers anyway when we make the other base. Ooh, I, find a, I found a nice big patch of silicon. Sweet. It's also good for windows and such. Yep. But at least now I can actually see while I drill. That's good. 